get the win job, six in a row. Uh, mm. Maybe not artistic at times, but the final result was what counts, I guess. Yeah, I thought the guys played well. Uh, offense looked sharp. I thought defense looked great. I thought Maddie was, you know, a brick wall again. And, uh, you know, Rochester hung in there. You know, they had a lot of power plays. We didn't get the ball much in the second half. I'm not sure what the power plays were, with the exception of, you know, the last, don't look at the last three that they took in the last 10 seconds. But it must have been 8-1 in power plays, maybe? What do you got there? Nine and seven for the game. Nine and seven. Seven total. Nine, what does that mean? Rochester went two for nine and you went over seven. What? Rochester had nine power plays. Well, we we didn't have seven power plays. Well, maybe they counted three at the end. I don't know. That's weird. Seven power plays. <laughs> I'm not sure how they think. That, that's got to be wrong. We didn't have seven power plays. Did you think you were going really good in the third quarter? Did the couple flurries there just Get you off your game a little bit? Um, I was a little frustrated with, uh, you know, just not understanding the rules. And, you know, we were in New York and there was a play that happened. In my opinion, it should have been a no goal. It was when Jeff Teat scored and they had the penalty on the pick. When Sundown is his name, made a pick, cross checked him. That's to me, the play stops. So I was explaining the rule that apparently the whistle has to go before the ball goes in the net. If that's the rule, I think we need to look at changing that rule. And then today, we talked to the refs about this before the game. Today, Connor goes in and to me, it looked like he scored a goal. And then he hit the goalie and Connor didn't even get a penalty. And even if he did get a penalty, the ball was in the net before. But there was no call on the floor, so I didn't know to challenge the no call. Is it a goal or not a goal? And then it was decided there was I can't challenge a no call. So I think we have a certain time period to challenge a call, but they didn't actually say it was a no goal or a goal. So I was trying to figure out what to do. So I threw the flag. I don't know why it wasn't a goal. If I can't explain the rules as a coach, I'm not too sure. It's a bit embarrassing that I can't explain the rules or understand the rules. So that was frustrating for me today. This is animated as I've seen you on the bench. Because we just had that happen. I just yeah. spoke about it. And if, if, if anything, that should have counted because if Connor did get a penalty, which he didn't get a penalty, that happened after the goal. In New York, the penalty happened before the goal. So what's the call? Explain it to me, please. I wish I could. Another, another I don't know. That's embarrassing for me when someone asks me the rule yeah. and I don't know the rule. Then I explain the rule, and then it happens, and it's back to what I thought it was, which even, like, either way, like, Connor's goal, in my opinion, should have counted. And it, it is what it is, but let's just be consistent with the rules. What are the rules? We've talked a lot this season already about a balanced offense today. Dane seemed to take a larger role, but again, the supporting cast was almost everybody. And that's what we want. That's what we want. We want, you know, I keep saying it, attack by committee. And uh, it's always easy to defend one or two. So it's nice when everybody contributes. But, you know, I want to give Rochester credit. They, they, they did a good job of hanging in there and making a game out of it at the end. You know, they never, they never gave up. And <clears throat> they kept coming and coming and coming. And, you know, they made it a ball game. I think they made it within two there at the end. Was it 10-8 was it at one point? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, kudos to them. John, you've, there's been three Bandits teams now that have gone six and zero at the start. You were on the other two, 1993 and '96. No pressure here, but you, they both won championships. Do you see any? Can you think of any similarities with these teams? Uh, I wish I, were, I can remember that far back. Yeah. Obviously, um, two really good teams. Well, I mean, without even thinking about, it, I'm going to say you have a well-balanced attack. You got a good goalie. You have good defense. You know, that's really I can say. Um, we are, we can. Well, usually good teams can win different ways. You know, they can win tight games. They can win, you know, games like we did in New York, like 18-17. You can win a 9-8 game. So you can win the, you know, the ones where there's a lot of goals or less goals, a, you know, a, a tight checking game, a wide open game. Um, <clears throat> you know, the similarities is we have a well-balanced attack. Not that it's a big surprise, but Tahoka, uh, even he didn't get a lot of goals tonight, but just a special player, the one play, 
put the, the going for the loose ball between his legs and then gets the pass up on his knees. I mean, what has he brought here just these first six games that added to the offense? Well, he's a, you know, he's a really smart lacrosse player, and he's a very strong lacrosse player, and he's very creative. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's, he's brought a, uh, what has he brought to this team? He, he, he's brought another, you know, threat. You know, Tohoke could do, he can pass, he can bowl dodge, he can shoot from the outside, he can do pretty much everything. And I think he's starting to just start to feel comfortable of getting the ball and not step on, you know, guys like Danes and Fraser and Kluch and Josh's toes. It's hard to come in and just take over, right, when you have so many other guys. And that's been a pleasure to watch because it shows me that he wants to be a team member first. He wants to win first. He doesn't care about his own accolades. He just wants to contribute any way he can, whether it's a loose ball or a pick an assist, a goal. You know, he has the ability to do all of it. It's nice seeing, like, Bucky had one, he had one, where they were just fighting for the loose ball, fighting for the loose ball. When guys see it on the bench, it makes them want to work harder. It's contagious. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Next week, Toronto uh, in Hamilton. I don't know if there are going to be fans there at all. Next I don't think there is, but it's actually uh, the first game we're having out of New York State. So we're 6-0 <laughs> in New York State. So it's not... Is that going to be odd with, with no fans and all that? Is it, you know? Uh, I, 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 I would imagine it's going to feel a bit desolate, but uh, I'm a coach, so to me it's not going to matter, but probably for the players it might. It's nice when you have the uh, fans watching. I mean, I know, like, when I played, I liked having fans. I liked having home fans because I played hard for the fans, you know. <clears throat> when you go on the road, you want to play hard for the fans too because, you know, you want to piss them off a little bit. <laughs> That a few times. As a coach, it makes no difference to me. Yeah. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Thank coach. You.